Welcome in to Drew Daily Diamond for Wednesday, July 31st, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. we got a bunch of day action to get into, some night games, some West Coast action. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree, where you're watching from. All is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got first game up, Citizens Bank Park, New York Yankees. Philadelphia Phillies possible World Series preview 1235 Eastern 935 a.m. Pacific start time here. It's Nestor Cortez, the lefty up against Christopher Sanchez for the Phillies battle of Southpaws here. Phillies anywhere from minus 128 home favorites to as high as minus 135 total of nine. The Yankees just a, a half game back of the Orioles in the AL East winners of four straight games. And Philadelphia, I mean, 65 and 41, they can rest in the number one record overall in MLB, but they've lost three straight, all as a favorite. In fact, five of their last six, they've been burning some cash. Now, they do have Sanchez on the hill. He's going to play stopper here, at least attempt to. The 27-year-old Dominican-born pitcher, three-flat ERA, solid numbers overall. And he has he is up against the Yankees lineup that, that has kind of negative – lefty righty dichotomy work in here they're the top lineup against righties and just kind of middle of the pack against lefties so we'll see if they can stay hot the problem with betting the yankees in this spot at least in my opinion guys is they got cortez on the hill the the bronx bombers have lost six straight times he's taken the bump all his favorites so talk about burning cash this guy uh, man, he's been a money burner. He's given up 24 hits in his last three starts. He's only averaging four innings per 15 earned runs. I think we actually get a slight bullpen edge here towards Philadelphia. I know they haven't been playing the best baseball. This isn't a best bet by any means, but a big time matchup. We're going to list Christopher Sanchez as the starter and bet the Phillies low watermark minus 128 to start off the early Wednesday card. We'll move down to the 1 o'clock Eastern hour, 110 to be exact. For the Minnesota Twins, New York Mets from City Field. It's Luis Severino going for the Metropolitans. Pablo Lopez going for the Twins. Twins slight road favorites, minus 115, total of eight. Minnesota comes in 58 and 47, but they have lost two straight here in this series. This is game three with the Mets winning two straight. They've actually won seven of their last nine, playing some good ball. Severino 3-5 ERA on the se- on the season. Solid three straight starts. He's been really good at home. Actually thinking maybe this is a little wrong team favored here. I know Pablo Lopez, the 28-year-old Venezuelan back-to-back seven, seven inning starts, but he still has that 4-7 ERA. This Twins lineup only scored two runs the first two games of the series. I like this Mets lineup. Like Severino, we can get him plus 102, risk 100 to win 102. That's on the Mets at home over the Twins. An hour later, we are heading to Milwaukee for the Atlanta Braves, Milwaukee Brewers. Freddie Peralta on the hill for the Brew Crew. Chris Sale on the hill for the Braves. Braves, minus 120 road favorites, total of seven. We get Atlanta coming in 56 and 49. They have won three of their last four, of course, making some trades here. We'll see how that plays out. But really the story here, we like Chris Sale. We've been betting on him. 2-6 ERA, no more than two earned runs in eight straight starts. He's been as solid as they come. Just a strikeout short of 150 on the season. And he throws with pretty good velocity, you know, 95, 96 miles per hour. And it's something we've talked about. This Brewers lineup kind of struggles against guys that throw hard. Now, they have Peralta on the hill. He's got a sub-4 ERA. His last two home starts, though, not sure if there's something there, a little reverse home road splits. He's given up nine runs in 10 innings against the Nationals and the Marlins, so he's taken a step up in class. Hey, I think they struggle. I think he might struggle here, and I think Chris Sale, again, is solid as they come, and that Atlanta bullpen has been pitching really well over the last five weeks, number one bullpen whip in all of baseball. So we'll, let, we'll list Sale. Minus 123 actually is the low water mark right now. It's the Atlanta Braves over the Milwaukee Brewers. Head to the Windy City up next on the south side for the Chicago White Sox hosting the Kansas City Royals. Brady Singer on the hill for the Royals. Drew Thorpe on the hill for the White Sox. Total of nine, Kansas City heavy, minus 190. 
road favorites. I say the Windy City, it is 10 miles an hour blowing in from right center. That's the projections anyway. This is game three, Kansas City winning the first two. And actually, we need to point out here, guys, the White Sox losers of 16 straight games. They're now 27 and 82, just a miserable season right here at the trade deadline. They're trading some pieces away. I don't know if it's really going to hurt them all that much. I mean, how much worse can they really get? I guess looking for the positives, their starter, Drew Thorpe, 23 year old out of Cal Poly. He had five straight solid starts. And then his last time out, he got blown up for eight earned runs. But the velocity was still there. So maybe look for him to have a decent start. I mean, if you're really picking for pieces for reasons to bet on the White Sox, maybe that's one of them. But unfortunately, they're up against Singer here. Back to back, seven innings, zero earned runs, blanking his opponent. One of those being the White Sox two starts ago. He's got a sub three ERA. I'm not interested in betting on the White Sox guys, but I could see Thorpe having a decent start here. And we get a pretty solid total, total of nine, wind blowing in. And it's the White Sox lineup. I mean, the worst pretty much across the, the board. All the major metrics that I like to look at, they're, they're 30th out of 30 in MLB overall. They're 30th out of 30 since the All-Star break. They're the worst hitting lineup against righties. So I don't think they're going to be able to put much up here. Let's go under nine. Maybe, you know, something like 5 nothing Royals, something of that nature. So Royals in the White Sox, we're going under nine. All right, under the night slate, up next, Queen City. We get the Chicago Cubs, Cincinnati Reds. It's Nick Lodolo on the hill for the big red machine, the big lefty. We've been betting on him. Up against Kyle Hendricks here for the Cubs. Total of nine, minus 143. That is the Reds as the home favorite. First up, Hendricks here. 34-year-old, he went to Dartmouth, 7 ERA. Six earned last time out against the Royals. Not a guy we're looking to bet on. And we mentioned Lodolo, 3-4 ERA, first rounder out of TCU, the former Horn Frog. 12 innings, three earned against the Cubs already this year. They play in the same division. They're fourth and fifth at the bottom of the division. Cincinnati's won the first two of this series. They get the slightly better bullpen. They got the better starting pitcher, guys. Let's list Lodolo, lay the 43 cents. Not a best bet because don't like laying these big, bigger bigger-ish numbers, but minus 143 on the Reds with Lodolo. That's how we're playing that one. We got one left on the West Coast, a big one here in the NL West. But first reminder, if you could comment below, helps out the algorithm, your MLB picks, all is welcome. If you're interested in premium picks, we got a 4 percenter up, big bet for uh, the Wednesday slate, last day of July, guys. So we got August coming up tomorrow. We will be back in action right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. All right, last game up. We are heading to Petco Park, Southern California for the LA Dodgers, San Diego Padres. It's Dylan Cease on the hill for the Friars. Clayton Kershaw in a battle of uh, big name pitchers here for the Dodgers. Seven and a hook being the total. Padres anywhere from minus 119 to minus a dollar and a quarter as the home favorite. Dodgers come in number one in the NL West, 63 and 44. This is game two of a three game set. I'm actually talking going into the overnights right now and the Dodgers put up a five spot in the first inning. The game's still going on, but uh, we're handicapping the next day here in the Padres. They've been playing good baseball overall outside of this first inning, at least so far. They've won seven of their last eight coming into the series. They're now what Six-ish games over 500, and they got Dylan Cease on the hill, guys. He's a one-way bet. The 28-year-old out of Milton, Georgia, last three starts. Man, talk about lights out. Three straight starts, 22 innings combined, two hits given up in the three starts. Not two hits apiece, two hits overall. Zero earned with 30 strikeouts. That's as hot as it gets. He's maybe trying to put his hat in the Cy Young uh, voting here. And he's up against Kershaw. Great career overall. Head to the uh, Hall of Fame, but just his second start of the season. In his first start, he went four innings, six hits, two earned versus the Giants. He was throwing 90 miles per hour in that one. That's a little alarming. Um, now, he's a guy that can work through it, you know, have a decent start, but he's going to be on a pitch count here. And I, I mean, the Dodgers bullpen, it's not terrible, but it hasn't exactly been lights out, you know, dominant. I actually like this Padres lineup to maybe put up a couple runs here and cease. I mean, we're going to ride his hot hand. So getting them under 20 cents. Hey, I think this uh, this home Padres team minus the, the 19 cents. That's how we're playing the late night action. Dylan Cease listed as the starter. It's the Padres 
over the Dodgers. We got the Reds minus 143 over the Cubs, Royals and White Sox under nine, Braves over the Brewers minus 123, Mets plus 102. That's as the dog at home against the Twins in the Philadelphia Phillies first game up. We got uh, Christopher Sanchez and the Phils minus the 128 over the Yankees. That's going to do it for Wednesday, guys. Smash that like button, comment below. Uh, come back and join us. Cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.